Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to put a used ECM in this 2013 Honda Fit. Now, if you're wondering how we got here, there's a link to the video below where we diagnosed this bad injector that took the PCM out. Now, why we have to program this is because it's not a plug and play PCM. Um, the immobilizer is, is actually stopping from starting now and you can see this, it's a start stall condition. And then we also have to write the VIN into this used ECM to make sure that we don't get a P0620 trouble code. So we're gonna be using the Autel scan tool to do this. So let's get right into it. So I'm gonna start by going to the immobilizer. The immobilizer set up. I'm gonna wait for this thing to communicate. And we will go to our special functions menu. And we're gonna to go to replace ECM PCM. Okay, and I'll just let the scan tool think for a second here. It's just communicating with the module. Okay, it looks like it has been completed. We gotta turn the ignition switch off. Okay, now it's asking me to start the engine to see if it'll start. Okay, so this one actually did start, which is fine, but we still have to program that VIN in here. And if you look on here, is this a keyless entry system? I'm gonna select no. Okay, so now we're back at our special functions menu. So now we gotta go back and we have to go back to the engine PGMFI. And that's where we're gonna write the VIN in here. Okay, we'll go to special functions. And I'm gonna go to VIN check. There is a PCM ECM replacement, but this is gonna be more for if you're trying to grab data off the old ECM to put onto the new ECM. We're not gonna use that, we're just gonna go to VIN check. So this is the current VIN, and this is the uncorrect VIN of the vehicle. This is the cor correct VIN. That's the correct VIN. So we're gonna press OK. And now it's gonna ask me to enter the VIN, OK. It looks like it had the correct VIN, but we'll manually enter it. So it must have pulled the current VIN from a different module in the car. OK, so we got the current VIN entered. Press OK, and we have the correct VIN, so I'm press yes. Okay, so now we got the VIN programmed and we got the immobilizer program, but we're not done yet. We still have to make sure that the car is running good, make sure you don't have any trouble codes and make sure the car is fixed. Well, remember, this thing came to us with a misfire, so that's what I really wanna check. So I'm gonna back out of here, go into engine, and I want to go to live data. And you can see here that we have no current misfires. Okay, now I just wanna to check to make sure there's no codes in here. Um, remember this is a used ECM. So we're going to come back to the engine here. We're gonna just, we just wanna make sure, you know, when you get used parts, you never know. So we'll read some codes here. No fault codes detected. So I'm happy to say that this car is ready to go. I hope this video helped you guys if you have to put a used ECM in the uh, 2013 Honda Fit. Um, we did this with an Autel scan tool. Um, if you liked what you've seen here today, uh, please subscribe, click that bell icon if you wanna get notified when we make another video. And as always, thanks for watching.